the Oregon Ducks. Mario Cristobal uh, went four and three last year, and in doing so, they actually won the Pac-12. It's the stupidest somehow. conference in it the is, world. Yeah, it's just ridiculous. So, um, yeah, they they didn't win their own division, but that was partly because Washington couldn't play them at the end of the year. So, you know, it was it was weird. It was, last year was weird. Uh, they went twelve and two season before that. They are expected to win the conference, but the odds are plus two fifty. So they they're number one as far as the odds go. Uh, Odds to win this division, plus 110. Like, there's also Washington in this division. So, of course, that's the way it goes. Returning production, number 76. They got 74% coming back. Their win total is 9. To go over is minus 130. To go under is plus 100. Uh, SP Plus got them going 11-1. and one. Uh, FPI's got them going 10-3 and three because they include the conference championship game and whatnot. So, you know, uh, probably somewhere around closer to 10-2 and two for them as far as their whatever, numbers and whatnot. Road schedule, pretty absurd, uh, but they are more talented than everybody in the Pac-12. They do have that tough game at Ohio State in the second uh, second game of the season. Former Cal offensive, or uh, sorry, defense coordinator Tim DeRuiter uh, takes on the defense. It'll be great with uh, with Kevon Thibodeau and, and all those guys. Uh, I mean, they, they, got, they got some hosses up front, man. Yeah. Absolute hosses. This is, this is a team um, that's loaded. The, They're loaded. The secondary is questionable. I am... That's the part that worries me about this because if you are going against teams that can throw the football, USC, Ohio State, etc., they lost some dudes last year, and you are going to have some of those in your in your own division. Yes, I mean you know Washington State, baby, Rolo is going to throw the yep. football now on on offense uh, as far as scoring points. Yep. Joe Moorhead, second I think year here, be just fine. Quarterback Anthony Brown, I think is going to be fine. Now they do have other quarterbacks waiting in the wings. We understand that, but I think that this is Anthony Brown's team for this season. Uh, they got plenty of playmakers. They got dudes all over the field on that side of the ball. Totally agree. I uh, I'm curious about this. I'm uh, I'm going to take them to go over the nine. I think okay. they're going over the nine. I think nine is their floor. I, I kind of think. I so mean, too. I think I think I think if everything goes wrong, they win nine. I, I think there's some ways that they could lose. You know, four. God. But but man, that'd be rough. Like be I, I just tough. think it is much. more I just likely. think anybody that might upset them, they'll make it up by winning a game that they. Might not should have won or or a coin flip game. Yeah, I. They're too well coached. Yes. They're too talented. They, you know, you only worry about that um, that secondary against teams like Ohio State that have you know yeah. seven NFL guys at wide receiver. Yeah, and but it, it doesn't it, matter it, who you're playing on DBs. So they like they're they all play, getting they're all getting dusted. They play at Utah, at Washington, at UCLA, like. None of those are are offensive juggernauts. No, nope. like, so yeah, I don't know that they're going to be able to like throw all over you. So yeah, I think I think over nine is the way to go. Like I, I don't think it's close actually. So I think this team is closer to eleven wins than they are to nine, nine wins. Oh, easily. So I agree with that. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.